Hello, let's see how to find sine of 15 degrees without the use of a calculator. For this, we will need the addition and subtraction formulas and the unit circle. The unit circle usually has a total of 16 angles. Each angle corresponds to a point on the unit circle and the first coordinate represents the cosine of this angle and the second coordinate represents sine. For example, cosine of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2 and sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. Now, the angle of 15 degrees is not an angle on the unit circle. To find the value of sine of 15 degrees, we need to write 15 degrees as a sum or a difference of two angles from the unit circle. For example, we can write 15 as 60 minus 45. So now we can write sine of 15 degrees as sine of 60 degrees minus 45 degrees. So now we have sine of a difference of two angles. Then from here we will use the formula sine of alpha minus beta equals sine of alpha cosine of beta minus cosine of alpha sine of beta. According to this formula we will write sine of 60 degrees times cosine of 45 degrees minus cosine of 60 degrees times sine of 45 degrees. And now from the unit circle, sine of 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. So we will write square root of 3 over 2 times cosine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. So we will replace it with square root of 2 over 2 minus cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half. So we will write 1 half times and sine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. So we will multiply by square root of 2 over 2. And now square root of 3 times square root of 2 is square root of 6 and 2 times 2 is 4. So we will have square root of 6 over 4 minus and now 1 times square root of 2 is square root of 2 and 2 times 2 is 4. So we will subtract square root of 2 over 4. We can also write this as square root of 6 minus square root of 2 all over 4. So here we found the value of sine of 15 degrees and it is square root of 6 minus square root of 2 over 4. I hope all the steps made sense and I would be glad to read your comments. Thank you for watching.